So the question here is the procedure in class 3 restoration shown is the options are smoothening of enamel margin, then we have babbling of the external tooth surface, refining the proximal wall and flaring of proximal walls. So if you see, yes, uh, uh, this is going to be a cavity that is prepared on the proximal surface. So that is going to be your class 3 cavity. And here you will be able to see this particular burr is a flame shaped burr. Flame shaped burr. And you can see this whole area, this complete area is going to be the bevel. Okay, so that is the beveled margins of the cavity. Here you can see the completed beveling here. Okay, so this is the beveling and that is at an angle and generally the angle is uh, 45 degree actually. Okay, so basically if we see this whole procedure that looks like beveling of enamel margins or we can say the cavity outline. Okay using a flame shaped bar. Okay, so uh, I'll be just discussing the class 3 cavity preparation. There are three main designs for class 3 cavity preparation and this is generally done for composites because uh, babbling is required in cases of uh, composites where you need more adherence and more surface area so that you can get better adherence in the uh, of the restorative material, right? So uh, yes, there are three designs for the class 3 cavity preparation in case of composite restoration. So one is going to be your conventional. Now we use the conventional cavity preparation majorly when the carries are entirely on root surface. Okay. So there when we want to restore with, uh, it with the composite, then we use the conventional form of class 3 preparation. The second thing uh, is conventional with bevel. Conventional with bevel. Now the conventional uh, with bevel is used when the cavity is large and it has minimal margin. So I would just write the keyword here. Cavity should be large. At the same time it has enamel margin so what we do bevel is given and the bevel is given at 45 degree angle to the cavo surface so yeah it is done at 45 de degree angle to the cavo surface now the third design which we have is going to be the modified design now in the modified design we prefer this mostly in dentistry nowadays because we want to conserve the tooth structure and we do not uh, prepare the complete cavity, right? So there is a principle that is known as extension for prevention, right? So you have to restrict the extension now and uh, you can just use because we have better adhesive, right? We have better uh, composite restorations where we can consider uh, that there will be uh, enough bonding of the restoration with the cavity. So yes, you do not need to put the conventional model everywhere and you have to prevent and keep the cavity conservative, right? So this is a conservative cavity that is prepared here and this particular uh, cavity is used when the carious lesion is small. So it is used when carious lesion is small. Now. Uh, if we uh, just uh, walk through the explanation here, we'll see small preparations typically have a beveled margin configuration from the initial tooth preparation. Now there are uh, many uh, final tooth preparation guidelines or the steps for class 3 direct composite that is going to be removal of infected dentin, pulp protection. Now uh, for our importance, it is going to be bevel placement on accessible enamel margins. Why? Why we want to uh, put the bevels? Because we want to increase the surface area and since surface area is increased, better bonding will be guaranteed, right? It will guarantee more and more bonding of the composite with the cavity, right? So yes, larger preparation may require additional beveling. And uh, what is the feature that it is going to incorporate? That is going to be the retention by bonding 
okay so that you have to understand retention by bonding is provided by additional bubbling in cases of composites now if you just uh, see the facts about it yes you need a flame chipped or round diamond instrument so we have seen the flame chipped bulb was used there and 45 degree angle is generally preferred for bubbling the enamel margins here and the width can be around 0.5 to 2 mm now these are the important things which we have to understand about this particular question so yes the question here the procedure in class 3 distillation shown is the beveling of the external tooth surface and the purpose is to increase surface area and that will guarantee you more and more retention so that will be adding retention feature for better bonding of the composite to the cavity 